Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about postpartum must-haves, which basically is the products I ended up needing after pregnancy that I didn't realize I was gonna really need. So if you've been following me for a while, you'd know that I had an emergency C-section when I gave birth. And while there are some products that you need when you have a vaginal birth, there are definitely products that you just need in general after you give birth. So while some of them might be specific to a C-section, some of them might be specific to just giving birth in general. So I hope these help. So the first thing that I think everyone needs, regardless of how they give birth is a nice robe and a pair of sweats, if not like more than one of each. So for me, I ended up living in robes. I actually got a few right before I gave birth. I took one to the hospital with me um, and then I got this one from my sister-in-law and it is so soft. It's by a brand called La Rose and it feels like silk and it's really, really pretty too, but it's not silk so it's affordable and really, really nice. Um, I lived in robes, I just couldn't imagine getting dressed sometimes when I first got out of the hospital. It was really, really hard. Same with the sweats. I had no idea I was gonna be as swollen as I was when I got out of the hospital, and I couldn't put anything on. I couldn't put on leggings, which I lived in while I was pregnant. I didn't wanna wear jeans, obviously, and I didn't wanna just wear dresses. I gave birth also during the winter time, and so while it's always like sunny in Los Angeles, it was still kinda chilly out, so sweats were perfect. Like, the minute I got home, I basically got on Amazon, and I ordered a bunch of different sweats. These were my favorite. They're from a brand called InGear. I felt like these sweats were comfortable, but they were still stylish. Um, I got to, you know, I could throw on some like cute sneakers, um, wear a cute top. I was comfortable, but also stylish, and that was really key for me. All right, next, let's talk about bladder leaks, basically peeing when you laugh or you sneeze. So this kind of started happening to me towards the end of my third trimester. Like a month before I was gonna have my baby, I started to notice that if I would like laugh really hard or if I would sneeze, I would pee just a little, and it was just a little. I just didn't realize it was gonna continue on, especially because I had a C-section. I kind of just thought I was gonna skip that period, but it turns out, um, especially because I tried to have a vaginal birth first, your bladder muscles and your pelvic muscles get weak, and they're especially weak right after you have the baby, so it kind of continues on. So there's a lot of just stuff kind of coming out, and people didn't really warn me about that, so I feel like I need to tell people about it. So while I was in my third trimester, I actually picked up a pair of these. They're called Icon Undies, and they look just like, kind of like regular panties, but I decided to try them out. They're basically pee-proof panties. Um, I don't know if you've heard of like Thinks panties that are for your period. They're kind of similar to that. If you look, they have a moisture wicking, and don't worry, these ones are brand new to show you. I have not used them. So they have this moisture wicking material in them, and it's really great to have because there's a lot of stuff that starts coming out when you're pregnant, especially right towards the end. It's gross to talk about, but it's really, really true. And I felt like it was one of those things that I didn't really talk about with too many people, except for my closest friends or other people who'd been pregnant. Like, Sharzad and I would talk about all of these kinds of things because she was one of the only people that I knew who'd been pregnant before me. Um, and it's just weird. It's like one of those things people just don't talk about. So these really came in handy because right after I had a baby, I found myself living in Depends diapers, and I kind of liked them. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of like living in the diapers, but my husband brought it up one day. He was like, you kind of, like, do you still need to wear the diapers? <laughs> uh, which is kind of embarrassing when I think back on it, because I was like, yeah, I love living in diapers. But I did, I wore them for like a, a good like two weeks, and then I realized I had these panties, and I was like, I bet you this will kind of help, because it's not that bad. Um, I'm not really sure when it's going to, when it's going to happen, besides like, you know, like a sneeze, like I said, or if I'm going to laugh really hard. So I started to realize that they had other types of underwear too, because I started with the boy briefs, and then I went out, went on and I bought some of the bikini panties, and they even have thong panties um, that are really, really comfortable. All of the material is really, really soft. It doesn't get really gross when you wear them and if you actually have any liquid that gets into them because they don't puff up or anything like that and they don't smell at all, which is always kind of like the issue. If you've got some you know, bodily fluids, you wonder if it's gonna smell. I think that's one of the things I'm the most paranoid about is smell, right? They have an anti-odor layer, which was kind of important to me because let's face it, everyone's worried about smelling, right? You don't wanna stink at all and that's gross. Because I thought these were super helpful, I got you a discount code. It's Susan5. I'll leave it below in the description box along with the link. They're specifically made for bladder leaks, so I found them to be really, really helpful because when you're towards the very end of your pregnancy and right after, it's kind of crazy. You know, you might laugh really hard. I know I do. I laugh all the time. Next up, compression leggings. So right after I got out of the hospital, I told you I was really swollen and I couldn't get leggings on. I had actually taken these in my hospital bag. They're the 
They're the Belly Bandit Mother Tucker leggings and they have compression right here in the belly area. Um, I thought I was gonna wear these right away, but I ended up starting to wear them like about a week after I had the baby and I loved them. A lot of people had told me to get like a wrap for my belly for after pregnancy, especially since I did have a C-section, but I found those to be really unrealistically uncomfortable. Like they just didn't work for me. I found like they were, it was very stiff. Like it made me feel like I had to sit up. I didn't feel like they looked right under my clothing. It was just not for me at all. I'd say that these were my most used item after pregnancy because once I actually was able to fit in them, I started to wear them like every single day. Um, I ended up buying like two other pairs of them because they were just, they were the best thing to wear, really. They give that support around your tummy and it feels like it's kind of like bringing everything back together, but they're also comfortable to wear and you can make it part of your outfit. And I felt like this was just the way to go. Compression tights, they were awesome. Next is a hydro flask. And I know that seems like a strange thing to recommend after pregnancy, but you won't believe how thirsty you are. The minute you're in the hospital, like after you have the baby, you are so thirsty, it's it's weird. You're like, I just wanted just liquids and liquids and liquids. And then I realized it was because I was trying to breastfeed and then you get home and you're breastfeeding and you're just so thirsty. Actually, my sister-in-law got me this hydro flask and I love it so much because I basically fill it up, I put a little bit of lemon in it and I drink it. I make sure I drink it the entire day and I don't feel thirsty when I make sure I have this with me. It is so important, you guys, especially if you do want to breastfeed, you have to hydrate constantly. It is like the number one thing you have to do to be able to breastfeed. And if you think about it, it makes sense. It's like, if you have to give liquid, you need to put more liquid into your body. And I know that there are like tons of gimmicks out there and there's like cookies you can eat and tea that you can drink to help with your breastfeeding. But seriously, just get a Hydro Flask Fill it with water and drink the entire thing. If not, try to drink even more if you can, but try to at least drink one of these and it will help you so much after pregnancy. Now, the next thing is called Biocornium. It's a scar treatment cream. Um, this is very specific to somebody having a C-section, obviously. If you're like me, you, don't, you wanna make sure your scar heals really, really well. Obviously, it starts with your doctor and your genetics, whether you're gonna scar badly, but having something like this, I feel like Biocornium is kind of the go-to. It's like. Everybody I know, like plastic surgeons and everything, if you know the ones that we work with on mixed makeup, they all recommend Biocornium. It's what they send their patients home with. Um, it's what they sell in a lot of doctor's offices. This one's great because it's also an SPF. It has SPF in it, which the sun, you guys, you'd be surprised. It can get through your clothing and it can make your scar worse. So you wanna use something like this, like Biocornium. Also, I feel like, you know, if you get like, there's different like um, scar patches and stuff like that that you can use, but sometimes, you never know, they can maybe even make your scar worse because you have to peel them off and stuff. So you just wanna be really, really delicate with your incision. And um, and I feel like this is the best way to go, Biocornium. Man, we're getting really private today, really personal today, but the next item is stool softener. The best advice I'll tell you guys that I got from all of my friends who have had babies before was to request a stool softener when I was going into labor. And the reason for that is because whether you have a C-section or a vaginal birth, you're gonna be really sensitive down there. And if you end up getting like an epidural or taking any kind of like the Norco or any of the like um, painkillers that they have in the hospital, you potentially are gonna get constipated. And being sensitive down there and being constipated does not mix. Like it is probably the most scary thing. Like after having a baby, the second most scary thing is trying to go to the restroom after you've had a baby. Seriously, it was like the best advice that I got from anybody was to make sure I had a stool softener. So they gave me stool softeners in the hospital and that was really, really helpful because I had the C-sections. They were able to give that to me. But then when I got home, I got Kool-Ace as well. My, actually my father-in-law is a doctor. So he was like prepared for me. He went and got me Kool-Aid and he got me like enemas and all kinds of stuff that I didn't actually end up needing. He even got me something like this. It's milk of magnesia and you can see I didn't even actually open it because I didn't end up needing it. It's because I got the stool softeners in the hospital and then also at home I took that Kool-Aid and everything was smooth, literally. And, <laughs> and it was helpful, it really was, because I was super, super scared about using the restroom for the first time after having a baby. Some things that I don't have with me anymore but that I found to be really, really helpful after I gave birth were one, a nipple cream, a really good one. Um, I realized that I should have actually taken one with me to the hospital and put it in my hospital bag because I tried breastfeeding there and the first few times you try to breastfeed is when your nipples are the most sensitive. They give you a nipple cream in the hospital. They gave me one that um, 
that was probably totally fine, but I'm the kind of person that likes to research and know what I'm putting you know, on my body or that's gonna potentially go into my child's mouth. So I wish I would have been a little bit more prepared and picked out a nipple cream to have with me. Um, I ended up choosing one called Mother Love, a brand called Mother Love. It was totally organic um, and I didn't feel strange about like that Nikosh was gonna have to put his mouth on it afterwards and stuff, so it was really good. It was really helpful after I first started breastfeeding because everything was like really just kind of raw and chafed and that wasn't very nice. So having a nipple cream was really, really helpful. A second thing that I didn't know I was gonna need is um, I got these breast pads. They're by a brand called Earth Mama Angel Baby and actually they have an entire setup for postpartum issues, um, even for women that have a vaginal birth because they've got like sprays and creams and stuff for down there. But I found these pads that they had um, where you could actually warm them up in the microwave. Um, they were really, really helpful and I didn't actually even end up buying them until I was like two weeks out or something. And that's because I started to get a blocked milk duct. So I had never experienced that before. As soon as you start getting any signs of mastitis, it's really scary. The first time I got it, I thought something bad was really, really happening to me because my boobs start feeling really, really hard and then it started to fill up and I couldn't do anything about it. And, um, and I found that a lot of massage helped and a lot of like trying to just, just like feeding my son helped a lot. But I also found that these, these heating pads really, really helped because they fit. They're like actually made for your boob and they fit right into your bra. You heat them up, put them on your boob, let it warm up and then you massage and it helps get it out really, really quickly. And I, I just love those things. I ended up giving them to another friend, which might be weird, but I guess we're just close like that, which is why I don't have them anymore, but they're really easy to find. And I'll leave a link below in the description for you. Another item that I found to be really, really useful um, right after I had the baby and I didn't even really expect to use this was to have a baby tracking app. Um, one that I recommend right now is called Glow Baby, and it's awesome. I mean, Nikosh is already, it says actually, 20 months and nine days old. So I stopped using this a while ago, but when you're breastfeeding and you're trying to get your baby on a nap schedule and a sleep schedule and a feeding schedule, all that stuff is really important those first few months especially. Um, and so this helps you keep track of all of that stuff. And especially if you have other caregivers like a nanny or your mother-in-law or your, you know, or like your parents watching your baby, something like that, even your husband, um, it's nice to have an app where you can track all of these times when the baby last ate, the baby last used a restroom, the baby last slept. All of these things are super important and it's hard to keep track of that if you don't have an app. So this one's really great, Glow Baby. It's very straightforward. It tells you the feed, the sleep, and the diaper change, which is seriously the top things that you need to know. And it gives you the dates. It gives you all of the history, um, some insights. It's just really, really great. So I recommend this app. Um, there are tons of other apps that you can find online. This is just one of them, and it's gonna help you. And then the last item, you guys, you need a foot massage from your partner because, again, I was swollen, I was tired, and I don't know, I think you just kind of deserve it. So you better tell your husband or your partner that um, they need to be ready to give you a foot massage because after you have a baby, it's probably one of the number one things you will need right after. Thanks so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments below if there were any unexpected products that you needed right after pregnancy. I feel like there aren't a lot of videos about this topic and people don't talk about like the nitty gritty stuff that you really, really truly need. So definitely let me know. I will also leave links to all the products in the description box below and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.